Before we begin the presentations, we have a special rendition of the Star Spangled Banner, which will be sung by Jenna Jenkins, a STARS participant who has worked in their work center since 1980, excuse me, 1994. She is 38 years old and has been blind since birth. However, she is a very active and energetic person. Her passion is music, and she also enjoys bowling, swimming, and reading. Okay, Please help me welcome Jenna to the stage. Please stand as I sing the national anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous flight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star-spangled very much Jenna. Now it is my pleasure to welcome Mayor Jen, excuse me, Mayor Jim Lane. Mayor Lane, would you please come forward? Thanks Deb and thanks everyone for being here. Welcome. It's just so nice to have you join us uh, for the celebration here and the recognition some great recipients and some great and special people here today. You know we've um, I'd also like to thank and, and recognize all of the members of the committee for their continued commitment uh, to this program and to recognizing each and every year these special people. So thank you very much for all. <laughs> this initiative is, is more important probably than ever. You know, when we think about the fact that we have some um, significant unemployment in our country, and we think about the fact that for people with disabilities, they actually are 10 times the rate of the normal population, the average. It's really, it's really an astounding figure. And we've got a lot, a lot of work to do. But I'd say that we really are seeing some, seeing some good movement in the area of, of, of improvement in the area. With regard to enclaves and special employment centers and education and job coaching, these are all things that uh, I think are making, we're making headway uh, with the issue and, and the gatherings just like this. And incidentally, I'd have to say this is a really a great gathering, a great showing of support all the way around. But it's, it's important you know, for us to continue that uh, on this quest and that's why it's so important that this committee and frankly all of us as individuals work to make sure that we, we see the improvement and continue the improvement. You know, it's really a healthy workforce that recognizes the differences in people and the differences in their workforce and the abilities, the differences in abilities. And that is another element of what we really recognize here too. And we want the community at large to know that there's a place for everyone with those differences. So we'll continue to work on that now. So again, I'd like to thank you for coming and, and joining us in this ceremony. I appreciate you helping us celebrate, really, the, the work and the effort and uh, just the lifting of the spirits and 
of the hearts and minds of these 18 individuals and recognizing what they're able to do in their lives and as we work for them and with them uh, to move into the workforce. So again, thank you very much for being here. I'll now turn it over to Dr. Je Geller uh, for the awards presentation. But thank you very much. It is my pleasure to be here again now for the second year to serve as your mistress of ceremony for tonight. So without any further ado, I hope you enjoyed the um, music, which it's a shameless plug on my part, it was presented by the Scottsdale Community College Guitar Ensemble, and that you enjoyed the, the treats that were next door for us in the reception provided by uh, the Chaparral Suites. So a special thank you to Tom Silverman and his, his crew here. So welcome to the ceremony. As I said, I'm really happy to be here to serve in this capacity. Those of you that have been to this event before uh, probably understand how this is going to work. And uh, so briefly, I will be introducing each of the awards uh, in this section of the program, there are awards for Student of the Year, Employee, Employer, uh, Exemplar, and Teachers of the Year uh, in this field. And then after I'm finished, actually I'll call each person up, each award recipient up. We will present them with their award and we'll ask the mayor to come join me and we'll pause for photos and uh, then always there's an invitation for the award recipient to say a few words if they want to. Now so far, well I've only had one year experience. Nobody's taken me up on that invitation yet, but <laughs> hope springs eternal. This is your chance, you know. Um, so let me begin by recognizing our first award this evening. It is for the student of the year. Someone who's recognized for special ingenuity or initiative in overcoming their disabilities and for his or her accomplishments and for involvement in extracurricular activities. Laura Christie is an amazing young woman and she is recognized as our 2012 Student of the Year. So let me tell you just a little bit about her, but for all of our awardees, you can find a more detailed and thorough description in your program that you have, which is, by the way, a beautiful program. Compliments to the committee, uh, Jackie and others who put that together. But just a word or two about Laura. She's worked very hard to overcome her OCD, a challenge that sometimes can inhibit one in one's life's, uh, life's journey. Once uh, unable to use her voice, Laura is now a celebrated and talented performer who has overcome her challenges through music and art. Her involvement in music productions and performances has yielded confidence both inside and out and has helped her reach her full potential. She is currently involved in an exciting new venture, working with local DJs to record an original soundtrack. That's exciting for anyone. I, it makes me nervous just to think about it. Laura is a remarkable young woman who is committed to her own educational and her career goals and is deserving of the 2012 Student of the Year Award. So, Laura, would you please come forward to accept your award? Laura is receiving a brand new Fender Stratocaster guitar. We certainly hope you'll enjoy it. I just want to say thank you. Uh, my parents came here tonight, and it's, um, 
It's always awesome having the support. I um, know that I would never have gotten here. Um, I'm still continuing on with music. It's I'm learning every day that you know, life and things in life are never for certain. Um, nothing is easy. It takes a lot of work, and every day I'm learning that I can do it. And I see other people, and you know, I realize you know I'm not alone when I struggle, you know, with my anxiety and such. Um, like everybody worries, so it's about everything and I think like you know money and all this such and I think you know yeah money comes in and but in the end like I got my friends and my family behind me and it's that's so much more and that's gonna come up and that's gonna give me you know the power to be able to succeed and accept um, just my love for music and I guess that's really it but um, I don't know, just that is my biggest dream one day to um, just share music. That's really what I love to do. I've been doing it my entire life since I was five, been performing, and um, I don't know, that's just how I can connect with people. And that's through, I mean, I love to write, but when I get to sing what I write, nothing beats being on a stage in front of people. It doesn't matter how many people, but I love it and it feels awesome. So. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Oh, congratulations, Laura. That is wonderful. The Teacher of the Year Award is given to individuals with exceptional initiative in the education of students with disabilities. We are happy to recognize three outstanding educators in this category. The first is Robin Wynn. All right, Robin, where are you? There you are. She is the recipient of the 2012 Early Childhood Teacher of the Year Award. Robin teaches the PANDA program in the Early Childhood Learning Center at Choya Campus. She's an extremely hardworking and dedicated teacher whose energy and positive attitude is absolutely contagious to everyone, including her adoring students who can't wait to go to class. Bottle that and sell it. She will go the extra mile for all of her students and works diligently with the uh, children to receive the best education possible. It's a pleasure to recognize Robin Wynn as the Early Childhood Teacher of the Year. Robin, please come forward. Okay, I would like to thank everybody for coming out tonight. I'd like to thank um, God for my strength and patience. I'd like to thank for my family for not bursting my bubble. My, my children every day that I have the opportunity to teach and their parents. And two special friends. One friend told me that what you pay attention to will grow. And that was with positive behavior support. And I had the opportunity to teach with, um, with a teaching early language and literacy. And it took teaching to a higher level. And my children did, a, did an amazing job with it. And I'd like to thank Bronwyn for that and to, for the support of my of Scottsdale team. And mostly for the support of my related service team and my paraeducators. I could not do it without them. And Robin is receiving, um, in addition to her plaque, she is receiving a one-night stay, weekend stay, in the Scottsdale Hilton Resort, plus breakfast for two in the Blue Fire Grill. So there you are. Congratulations. Our second recipient in this category is Joseph Mickey. He is recognized as the 2012 Middle School Teacher of the Year. Is Joseph here? Oh, right here, all right. Joe is a special education teacher in the Life Skills Center at Supai School, working with emotionally and multi-disabled students. 
A warm and caring person, Joe is known as someone always willing to help when something needs to be done. He's admired for his efforts to create a nurturing and secure environment for his students and for continually finding ways for them to succeed as they learn and grow. He's highly respected and deserves this award for the Middle School Teacher of the Year. Joe, please come forward. I just wanted to say, uh, first of all, thank you uh, to the mayor, uh, Mayor Lane. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor's Committee. Uh, I feel very privileged to be up here today, uh, very humbled. Uh, I was a product of SUSD growing up uh, as far as elementary school and middle school, so to be back in this position and giving back is a really honored position to be in. Um, and I couldn't have done it without my family, mom, dad, siblings. Uh, it's really quite a touching honor to just be able to be supported all the time throughout my life and everything that I've done, uh, my wonderful girlfriend, but also my coworkers because it is all about who you work with uh, and uh, wonderful staff that I have around me and leadership that's guided me, but uh, it's really a whole thing together and of course thanking the Lord because this is a profession of being a candle, which is paving the light for others by giving of yourself. So I'm um, just very honored, so thank you very much. And Joe is also receiving a one-night weekend stay at the Doubletree Paradise Resort, including breakfast for two in the Enfuego restaurant. Congratulations, Joe. <laughs> Our third recipient in this category is Kay Albrecht, who is being recognized as the 2012 High School Teacher of the Year. Is Kay with us? Oh, who's Kay? Kay is the functional English teacher and department chair of the special education in the Life Skills Center at Coronado High School. Kay not only teaches uh, great, provides great content that is thoughtful and relevant and fun, but she also oversees and advises on every aspect of the center operations. A strong believer in hands-on instruction out of the classroom, Kay, on her own time, takes students into the real world to teach them essential life skills, important both to their independence and to their future success. It's an honor to recognize Kay for her inspirational work as the High School Teacher of the Year. Come forward, Kay. Since you're batting a thousand, I guess I'll have to say something too. Um, first of all, I am humbled, and it is a real honor to receive this award tonight. Um, I will repeating, be repeating something you already know, that it is a team effort. No one person does it alone. Um, and so I really do appreciate the staff that got behind me and nominated me for this award. Um, I'll deal with them later. And, uh, and at the end of the day, it is all about the kids, and I do love what I do. So thank you. And Kay, compliments of our sponsor, is receiving a three-day, two-night stay for two at the Scottsdale Plaza Resort. So congratulations, Kay. <laughs> the Employee of the Year recognizes an employed person with disabilities who works a minimum of 10 hours per week within the Scottsdale community and who has shown special ingenuity or incentive or excuse me, initiative, pardon me, in adapting to the working environment. It is our pleasure tonight to recognize Carl McAfrin as the 2012 Employee of the Year. Is Carl with us? There he is. As Carl walks up here. I'm gonna tell him a little bit about you, Carl. 
Carl's been employed as a cafeteria aide at Pima Elementary School for the past three years, where he assists in preparing for the lunch service, in helping keep the tables and the floors clean, and performing other tasks that he cheerfully and willingly does without hesitation. Carl is known as a hard worker and loyal employee who rides his bike to work, rain or shine, and who always has a positive attitude. Carl is an active volunteer and a participant in activities in the community, and he's also an, uh, an excellent recipient of the 2012 Employee of the Year Award. Congratulations, Carl. I want to thank you for this award, and I want to thank you for the people at Pima that I work with, Jane, Heather, and Shelley, the pr vice principal, and 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 Kate that I used to work with, that's here, and my family. Everybody stands behind me, and June that's here too. I'm really thankful for being able to work at Pima. Thank you very much. And Carl, has he's thanked a lot of people. He's going to have to make a choice because he received a champagne Sunday brunch for two <laughs> at the Scottsdale Resort and Conference Center. Tough decisions coming up. The Employer of the Year Award recognizes one who has made exceptional efforts to provide meaningful work to train or to employ persons experiencing disabilities. It is our honor to recognize the APS print digital service team as the 2012 Employer of the Year. Receiving the award on behalf of APS is Tim Meller, who is the coordinator of the partnership between APS print and digital service team and Scottsdale Training and Rehabilitation Services, or better known as STARS. In providing outsourced work, such as inserting flyers, assembling, sealing, and other tasks that are tailored to the STARS clients, Tim and his team are giving these special workers a chance to learn new skills, perform meaningful work that provides a source of income for them, as well as, as a sense of pride and pleasure for their achievements. It is a pleasure to recognize the APS Print and Digital Service Team as the 2012 Employer of the Year. Is Tim here? There he is, okay. I'd just like to say we are very proud to be a part of the community here, and um, we look forward to future support. I think we can all take a little bit from all of the recipients here and uh, pride in the, the work that they do for the community and what STARS does for the community is a, a great contribu contribution to the community. And again, thank you very much. And for Tim, uh, there is a $50 gift certificate to Don and Charlie's restaurant. So congratulations, Tim. Our last award category is the coveted Exemplar of the Year Award and is given to an individual who provides an extraordinary example of encouragement and commitment to the disabled community. We're honored to recognize Alicia McGovern as the recipient of the 2012 Exemplar Award. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
tell you a little bit about her. Alicia is a special education teacher with Chaparral High School who teaches math, English, and job training skills for special needs students. She does an outstanding job of providing unique experiences and challenges for her multi-disabled students and is always admired, much admired, for her efforts beyond the classroom, often providing opportunities for learning in the real world. Kay works tirelessly, excuse me, Alicia works tirelessly for her students, giving them experience and knowledge that will help them be independent and successful in day-to-day -day life. She is an exemplary teacher and advocate that goes above and beyond for her students and the disabled population. She's an outstanding choice for our 2012 Exemplar Award. Please help me congratulate Alicia. Um, first, I would like to thank the council and the mayor very much for this award. I'm very humbled by this award. Um, secondly, I'd like to thank my Chaparral family as well as my Coronado family here. It doesn't get much better than that, having both of both schools represented. And finally, I'd like to thank all my students, present and past, because they totally bring out the best in me. So thank you. And Alicia is receiving a two-night stay in a patio guest room at the um, Fire Sky uh, Resort and breakfast for two at Tagia, I don't know if I'm Tagia, I'm not, Tagia, okay, restaurant. So congratulations, Alicia. <laughs> this evening, 11 students are receiving $500 scholarships. Um, for, and receiving those scholarships from our contributing sponsors uh, or their designee. This portion of the ceremony would not be possible without the involvement and the charitable donations of these generous sponsors. We would also like to thank Chaparral Suites uh, for hosting and providing the room and the refreshments that you enjoyed this evening. So thank you for inviting me to participate again. It is an honor and always a joy to be among this group and this uh, wonderful sense of uh, commitment to the community that we serve. So I will gladly turn the um, program over to the folks who are going to recognize our scholarship winners. And so the first presenter is Alicia Martin. Yeah. Good evening, everyone. As Dr. Gaylor said, I'm Alicia Martin. I represent Scottsdale Insurance Company. We are delighted to, to share our name with the city of Scottsdale. And as such, we are also delighted to be very involved with the community. We encourage our uh, executives as well as our employees um, to serve on boards. And I'm very proud to sit on the Scottsdale Training and Rehabilitation Services Board. So I have dual purpose for being here tonight. Um, but uh, my primary purpose is to give out some money. And as, Do as Mayor Lane said, um, these are tough economic times. And as such, uh, Scottsdale Insurance Company decided to actually increase our uh, donation this year and uh, sponsorships uh, above and beyond what we have done in the past. So we're really excited about that. Now, our first scholarship recipient is Laura Christie. Does that name sound familiar? <laughs> I think she's been up here already, and if I remember correctly in her acceptance speech, money was mentioned. And so, Laura, we are delighted to present you a scholarship. Um, you won our 2012 Student of the Year Award just a few minutes ago, and you are now also a scholarship re recipient for the 2013 spring semester. As mentioned before, Laura is a bright and determined and focused student at Scottsdale Community College and is involved in many extracurricular activities. Again, Laura, we wish you the best of luck in your educational and career endeavor endeavors. Please step forward to receive your scholarship. Thank you. Okay, get the picture taken. 
here. Well, I just want to say thank you to the, co to the committee. Um, this is also new to me. Um, my brother also won. He couldn't be here tonight, but um, this, is a, this is really cool. I did, actually didn't really quite know about it until recently. Um, this is awesome, and I, I'm really happy I got to get involved, and this will help me out definitely for next semester. So thank you so much. You're welcome. All right, that Christie family is really something because as Laura just shared, her brother Nicholas is also a scholarship recipient. So let's talk about him just a little bit. It looks like he plans to pursue a degree in physical education or recreation leadership. Uh, while learning disabilities pose a challenge in his academic studies, he has a strong desire to learn and he is determined to become a teacher working with youth. Nick is very active beyond his studies. He works six hours a day at Kiva School with the Kids Club. He assistant coaches Pop Warner football. He works in the summer at the Ice Den, which is really smart because it's the coldest place in town in the summertime. And uh, he also sits with children and that he's met through the Kids Club and he's just really all around motivated kind of guy. So I'm gonna ask his mom or dad to come up and maybe accept this this award on his behalf because those parents have definitely done a great job don't you think <laughs> yeah Nicholas Christie okay he's probably working huh um no Nick's kind of, he's kind of, Nick is kind of shy, but um, I'm just really proud of him. Uh, our whole family is proud of him. Um, he went to Scott's Hill Schools, and yes, he works at Kiva right now, and he absolutely loves working at the Kids Club um, and just working with children. And his goal is to be a PE teacher for elementary school, and he does work very hard in school, and we couldn't be prouder of Nick. How he's become a great young man, and that's it. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> uh, thank you. Yeah. Now, before we proceed, are there any other Christies here tonight that we need to recognize? Or can we safely move on with the program? Okay. <laughs> Congratulations to the Christie family. All right, our next scholarship recipient is Jason Davidson. Jason will earn his associate's degree in fine arts in December of this year from Scottsdale Community College and then plans to transfer to the University of Arizona to get his bachelor's degree in visual communications. He's worked hard to overcome challenges and become an artist of distinction. He's had the privilege of visiting and working with artists in Italy, Greece, France, and throughout the International Vis Visual Arts Travel Club. And his work has been featured in many exhibits locally. Locally. Jason's goal is to become a graphic designer or commercial artist. Those who have seen his artistic achievements have no doubt that he'll be successful in his career. Jason, please step forward and receive your scholarship. I have to say that I faced uh, some challenges throughout my education, but I'm just glad to be here today. It's a real honor. And I hope to continue uh, going to university and, and hope to build my confidence and, and gain and obtaining the goals that I wanted. And I'm just proud to be here. Thank you.
All right, our next scholarship recipient is River Demson. River Demson has had to face many challenges throughout his life due to Asperger's syndrome, but he's determined to work harder to overcome the obstacles he's faced. He's found his niche in photography and filmmaking. His first short feature film was pr produced for his high school and earned him a long-standing ovation from both teachers and students. Jason has maintained an impressive GPA and has volunteered as a music instructor for the school and youth groups. He's enrolled in Scottsdale Community College to further his education in filmmaking and uh, with a long-term goal of becoming a professional filmmaker. For those who know of his remarkable talent, there is no doubt that he's going to be successful. So, River, please step forward and receive your scholarship. Hi, I just would like to thank uh, my family and um, just thank you so much for this opportunity that you've um, given me and um, I will definitely put the scholarship to good use, so thank you very much. We would now like to award a scholarship to Kendra Foti. Kendra was severely brain damaged in a near fatal accident when she was only 18 months of age. She struggled with a disability to learn at the basic levels and she's used every resource imaginable to make the learning easier. She once wrote an essay that making it through 23 years of school is not a job for sissies. Kendra is carrying 27 credits, wow. that's. That's like double time. Uh, works part time as an athletic trainer assistant and continues to study diligently. She was the recipient of the Daughtry Scholarship and Stars of Excellence program for her academic progress. Kendra is a delightful young woman with a positive attitude and an inspiration to everyone who knows her. Kendra, please step forward and receive your scholarship. Um, um, I've, I want to thank my parents and the teachers that have been behind me all these years. It hasn't been easy, and thank you. <laughs> that concludes the scholarships on behalf of Scottsdale Insurance Company. I would now like to introduce our next speaker, who is Sarah Brown. Actually, it looks like it's Virginia Cordy. <laughs> who will be presenting on half of Chaparral Suites. Welcome, Virginia. It certainly is an honor to be with you tonight uh, and to be able to introduce three um, fantastic people that are well-deserving of these scholarships. First, I would like to introduce to you Elizabeth Henson. Uh, Elizabeth is receiving a vocational training, is receiving vocational training at Scottsdale Training and Rehabilitation Services. Hi, Liz. Uh, or STARS. Alta loves coming, to, uh, uh, Elizabeth loves coming to her job at STARS. She currently works two days a week in, the, uh, in our workshop where she completes uh, contract work that STARS procures from other businesses. This program has been a great benefit to Elizabeth. We're glad to have her back uh, because of funding issues. Uh, she left us for about a year, and now she's back, and um, I'm really happy that she's received this, this scholarship, so congratulations. Teresa Hamad has received vocational training at STARS since last year. After she graduated from high school, her family relocated to Scottsdale, good choice, Scottsdale's the best place to live, from the state of Washington. 
She currently works four days a week in our work center, completing a variety of jobs uh, that are outsourced from businesses, as well as in-house assignments that provide comprehensive vocational training. Teresa truly enjoys the work she does and is proud of her accomplishment, accomplishments, and we are glad that she's with us. Teresa? And it is my honor to introduce George Tim Manesh with Scottsdale Community College. Boy, that SCC, just great school. Tim has been attending SCC since 2009, focusing on the area of general studies. His learning disability has made it difficult to understand his lessons, and he is working hard to increase his knowledge and improve his comprehension skills. Tim is not sure what his career goal will be, like many of us. But he is determined to earn his Associate of Arts degree in the future and not let the struggle get in his way. Tim is diligent in his educational effort and he has volunteered for the past four years um, on the SCC baseball program. He's motivated, personable, and a terrific young man who will achieve his goals, whatever they will be. Wow, jeez. Uh, it's been a tough run, but, uh, you know, studies do pay off, you know. Um, I'm currently doing school right now, but not on a team. But um, thanks for being here tonight, and thanks for my dad to uh, drop me off tonight. Thanks. Thank you, Tim. And now I would like to introduce Mark Wilson uh, to present the remaining scholarship awards on behalf of Prestige Cleaners. Mark. Good evening, everyone. Uh, I'm Mark Wilson, and I'm actually not from Prestige Cleaners. I am with the City of Scottsdale uh, Diversity Office. However, I was asked by my distinguished colleague, Jackie Bell, if I would uh, present because the representative from Prestige College could not make it. Can everyone hear me? All right. I was getting nervous up here. <laughs> uh, not to delay anymore, uh, our next scholarship uh, recipient is Emily Mellon. Uh, Emily dreams of becoming an executive chef. Despite her language acquisition di uh, disability, she's determined to continue to excel and get an associate's degree from Scottsdale Community College in Culinary Arts. Uh, the last two years of high school, she attended the EVIT uh, Culinary Program and received an Arizona State Certificate of Culinary Arts Skills Attainment, uh, for which she is very, very proud. Good job, Emily. During high school, she was also involved in many activities, and currently she's very involved in her church and volunteering in the community. Emily's enthusiasm and can-do attitude will certainly help her succeed in her future endeavors. that I was supposed to make some sort of speech uh, from my dad. I thought he was joking. <laughs> uh, so mostly I appreciate for this award and I'm glad that my family and friends helped me through and actually three of them are here with me right now. Brittany, Christy, and Jaylee. 
<laughs> and they helped me through tough times and everything. All righty, our next scholarship recipient is Shelby Nelson. Is Shelby here? Shelby's not here? Okay. Well, so, uh, we'll just go ahead and talk about Shelby really quick. Shelby uh, attended Scottsdale Community College from 2009 through 2012, uh, taking dual enrollment classes at both Chaparral and uh, the City College. Despite a reading comprehension disability, she maintained a 3.9 GPA. Uh, she strives to do the same at Northern Arizona University. Shelby struggled with her disability, finding it very frustrating to not understand what had been read, but her uh, persistence has paid off. Uh, she is looking forward to attending uh, NAU to pursue her, rather to pursue either a degree in hotel and restaurant management or special education. Shelby is an active volunteer in her church and the community. Whichever career path Shelby chooses, Shelby's energy, self-motivation, commitment to task will help her successfully through her future ahead. So. Okay, last but never least is Dominique Seal. Dominique is a second year student at uh, Scottsdale Community College's Culinary Arts Program. Her goal is to graduate with an associate's degree in culinary arts with a 4.0 GPA. Her vision is to someday be an executive pastry chef and she has a plan of action to get to that place. Despite her reading and writing disabilities, Dominique is convinced if she continues to work hard and excel in her studies, she will reach her goals. Her instructors agree. She's currently among the top 1% in her program and an ideal candidate for her career ahead. Dominique is also very involved with her church and volunteering in the community. She is a remarkable young lady who will be successful in whatever she undertakes. He's a photographer, so he takes pictures of everything. <laughs> Anyways, I like to thank my parents and Dr. Z Zoila. She's here, and she helped me with my recommendation letter for this. Um, she's one of my first instructors at SCC, and she was great. She really helped me put my feet in well as I started at school, and I have been able to maintain the 4.0, and I look forward to continuing maintaining it. <laughs> and I like to thank the committee for selecting me, and this will help for my next semester a lot. Thank you. All right, and I'd like to turn the microphone back over to uh, Debbie. It is all yours. Congratulations to all of our scholarship and award recipients and a big thank you to our contributors. Before we conclude tonight's ceremony, we need to thank some of the people who have helped to make this evening's presentation possible. Our sincere appreciation goes to the Scottsdale businesses and individuals who contributed to our scholarship fund. We could not have had this ceremony without you. A big thank you must also go to Tracy Seit, and I apologize, Seit Ruse, who took photos during the program to provide some extraordinary individuals a memento of this special occasion. Thanks, Tracy. We would also like to thank Tim Delaney from City Cable 11 for videoing our program for this evening. Thank you, Tim. We appreciate the talents of Carmen Green, our sign language interpreter. Thank you for being here tonight. The lovely entertainment provided by the Scottsdale Community College Guitar Ensemble and Jenna Jenkins, thank you. And finally, President of Scottsdale Community College, Dr. Jan Gaylor, thank you for doing an outstanding, 
an outstanding job as our mistress of ceremony. We appreciate your support and effort in making this evening special. Each year, I share some facts with you about the scholarship program. The first year scholarships were awarded, the committee received $900 in contributions, and three recipients each received $300. As we reflect on the past 25 years, much has been accomplished, both in terms of education about the disabled and growth of the scholarship program. Including 2012, we have awarded 251 scholarships with a value of $133,200. That is a wonderful tribute to the contributors' generosity, the efforts of the committee members, and the City of Scottsdale staff, and the teamwork and collaboration of the Scottsdale School District, Scottsdale Community College, Scottsdale Training and Rehabilitation, and other learning and training institutions. Each of these entities put forth energy, enthusiasm, and commitment to making this program a success. Thank you again for coming this evening, and on behalf of the committee, we wish you a lovely Thanksgiving and holiday season.